This morning, I woke up and I thought to myself, today would be a great day to do a vlog. But not just any vlog. Somebody recently asked me, hey Joe, of all of the beaches in South Florida, what's the one beach that you love the most? You're gonna be in for a treat. Hello everybody, my name is Joe McFarland. Welcome to the Life in South Florida channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the bell. This way you can be first to be notified whenever I drop new content about what it's like to live in sunny South Florida. If you didn't know already, I am the broker owner of Reform Realty, South Florida Homes and Luxury Estates. And as much as I love to make these videos, I would love it even more to be able to help you with all of your real estate needs. So that information that you see popping up below is my direct contact information. I am the actual person who will be answering the calls and responding to your texts and emails. So if you ever have a question regarding real estate, never hesitate to reach out and ask. Now, today is gonna to be extra special because not only is this my favorite beach out of all the beaches in South Florida, but it happens to be located right in my backyard. I'm talking about Deerfield Beach, Florida. Absolutely beautiful, and you guys are really in for a treat. There's tons of things to do in Deerfield Beach, and I was only able to cover the top things that I like to do and see best. Let's go check it out. All right, this is the Deerfield Beach vlog. I brought lots of tech, lots of hardware. I got my drone for some cool shots. Should be a good time. Let's go check it out. Gotta remember to keep looking into the camera right there. Not over here, right there. He wants to join us on the journey as we investigate and have fun today in Deerfield Beach. Should be able to get some really cool shots today at the beach and the ocean surrounding areas. It's a beautiful day out. We're gonna start right here in Coconut Creek and shoot out east to Deerfield Beach. And this is the full-on Deerfield Beach vlog. Check it out. All right, guys, one of the best things that you could probably come and check out when you're in Deerfield Beach is Quiet Waters Park. Now I'm here at the park right now and there's tons of things to do, but you have probably never seen anything like this. This is what's called the Ski Rixon. Ski Rixon at Quiet Waters Park. And what they do is they have these chairlift type thing. There it is. It's almost like a chairlift, a cable that pulls you on a wakeboard or a kneeboard or some type of boogie board. And they have all these jumps set up and you can hit the jumps and it brings you around this lake. It's called the Ski Rixon. This thing is awesome. Now there's a lot of stuff to do here in Quiet Waters Park, mountain biking, camping, uh, playgrounds, this ski rick's in, and several other things which we're gonna look at here today. But I really just wanted to show you this because this looks just awesome. I mean, look, we're gonna go over here. Check it out. Look at this kid. I'm gonna go over there and get a closer look. Always fun stuff to do in sunny South Florida, Deerfield Beach. So we're gonna come over here. Cool place to kind of hang out, have some food, have some drinks. This is where you check in and pay. Looks like it's only uh, $50 per person. Coming up in here. Check it out. Grab a drink, hang out right here in these chairs. Watch the kids ski. All right, so the kid's coming around over here on this turn. As soon as he comes around, let's watch him. He's gonna catch right there. Here he comes. See him? Yeah, he's moving pretty fast, that's pretty cool. Looks like these guys are getting ready to go right here. Oh, here's another one, watch. <laughs> I 
That's pretty awesome. All right. Ski Rickson. So obviously they got like boards and helmets and stuff and life jackets that you can rent. Lockers that you can lock your stuff in. These cool little chill spots where you can kind of just chill out right here, relax, enjoy the weather while the kids go skiing. Look at this thing. Watch how, watch how when this, this rider right here, watch what happens. Watch what happens. It's gonna grab it and shoot him in the other direction. That's cool, man. Guys, I've lived in South Florida for almost 20 years and Deerfield Beach is like a backyard to me. This is like the first time I've ever been here. <laughs> I guess maybe because I'm not much of a wakeboarder. I've never been a wakeboarder. But uh, this is cool, man. You can totally get into this. Boy, oh boy, let me tell you, it is hot out. 90 degrees today. We're at the first week of May, and uh, it's 90 degrees outside, and I probably should have put some sunscreen on. I'm getting a little red. Could be my shirt matching my face, but... Okay, so we're at Quiet Waters Park, which has a whole bunch of activities. Uh, we just got done looking at the Ski Rixon for um, water skiing, wakeboarding. Totally awesome. Now, we're at the Quiet Waters Dog Park, which is known as Woofing Waters and Boat Marina. So, Woofing Waters Dog Park and Marina. So the marina is pretty cool. It's over here, take a quick look. You can rent paddle boards, canoes, kayaks, and you just kind of cruise out on this lake right here. Dog Park is right next to me. They have a section for the smaller dogs and they have a section for the larger dogs. And as always, in South Florida, you have to beware of... We're in gator country. So, I can't say I've ever seen one, but... Or at least I've seen them before, but never, never seen them in like one of these lakes or whatever. But, uh... So here we are, we're at the dog park. It's 90 degrees outside, first week of May, on a Friday. And I see one little dog here. So, uh, I wasn't... Ex oh, here he comes. Here he comes right now. I wasn't expecting... Let's say hi to him. <laughs> Where is he? Hello. Hi, doggy. Hello. <laughs> so I wasn't expecting to see many dogs here today just because it was so hot out. But I'm glad that I did get to see this little guy right here. He's following me along the side of the fence. He wants to play. He wants to play. See him? <laughs> He's a cute Yorkie. So, again, uh, the dog park is separated into section for small dog, section for large dog. Now, the dog park here at Quiet Waters is not free. Uh, there is a charge. They have a seasonal rate or an annual rate and a one-time rate. I'm actually going to see it right here in a second when I come up to the uh, sign. But they do have marina rentals, open weekends and holidays. You can rent these we have here some type of like swan boat canoe paddle board kayak come out onto the lake looks like they have uh, a rubber ducky that you can rent too which is kind of cool so Friday afternoon 
There's nobody here except for that one dog and their owner. And when you come out to the lake, it's pretty beautiful actually. I'll get a little closer, but you have like these little sitting spots where you can relax, read a book, have a refreshing beverage. Over here you can try to sit down, hang out. Yeah, they have swan boat, rubber ducky boat, and dragon boat. So there's the dragon, there's a the swan, there's a the rubber ducky. Okay. Now this is pretty over here. You can just paddle your boat out, relax, check this out. Just hang out right here, read a book, look at the beautiful nature, watch the kids paddle by, or play with your dog. Take a look at the uh, pricing. Oh, we have another dog here. We'll say hi to him in a second. Looks like we got a golden retriever. <laughs> He's coming to say hi, here he comes. He's a good boy. All right, say hi to a friend here. Hello. He's going to play, he's excited. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> They're going to play. All right, so it looks like the daily fee, uh, well, it doesn't say. It says the daily fee is nothing. Seasonal pass for three dogs is $25 a season. Um, looks like the one hour fee is $10, a two hour fee is $15, and the four hour fee is $25. Oh, I'm sorry, that's for the boats. The boats, one hour, 10 bucks. Two hours, 15 bucks. Four hours, 25 bucks for the boats. And for the dog fee, it's a seasonal pass for $25. So you pay your $25 fee, you get your seasonal pass, probably 100 bucks for the year. And then you bring your dogs, like this lady did just a second ago, over to the special gate right here. It's an electronic maglock gate. And uh, you just wave your pass right here in front of the thing and the open sesame the gates open right up and then you have access to the dog park. So since I'm not a member, I don't have access, but I do have my drone. So I'm going to fly my drone over the dog park and get you some awesome views. Let's go check it out. Hot days like today, you would wish that you could go to a splash adventure. And uh, unfortunately, currently, the splash adventure water park at Quiet Waters Park is under construction. So the bad news is it's not open. The good news is that when it reopens, it's gonna be new and improved. So the construction's going on here right now. This looks like a really awesome place to bring the kids, have some fun. Construction is ongoing and uh, probably be open up in the next six to nine months. But either way, it's one of the best things to do when you visit Quiet Waters Park. Splash down. All right, guys, here we are on stop number two on our Deerfield Beach, Florida full vlog. We are at Arboretum Park, Constitutional Park right here in Deerfield Beach on Hillsborough Boulevard in Deer Creek. Now, the park is really cool because they have all of this really interesting trees and bushes and stuff like that, and I'm not much of an arborist. However, I do appreciate God's wonderful creation. So here at the park, they have all of these trees planted, and they're labeled with these cool little iron brackets so you can go around the entire park, see everything, and. Uh, and, and learn about the different types of trees and plants that are here. There's playgrounds for children, there's tennis courts, and also there's little exercise stations, which we're gonna see as we continue to walk through here. Um, 
there's a cool little like bike, it's not a bike path. See how it says one way? It's a walking path or a jogging path. Uh, I think you can bring your bike here. I'm not sure, I didn't see any signs. But either way, it's a short path and uh, it allows you to go all the way through into the Arboretum. Let's go check it out. All right guys, so as we enter the park, you're gonna notice that we're further away from the street noise and it starts to get really quiet and serene inside of here. We're approaching the uh, park gate entrance right here. And as you can see, the foliage in the background. This is a really cool place to go if you want to just get alone, get a little quiet by yourself, go get some exercise. They have like this cool little bench place where you can sit down, stare at the garden. Now I have been here several times just to go for a walk or enjoy a stroll with the kids or hit the playground or just sightsee, just to take in and appreciate God's creation. Super quiet. This is like a little pond right here. I want to be careful not to run into a spider web. I mean, we have some giant spiders. I mean, the type that will eat a bird. People maybe come during their lunch break, lay out, get some sun. This person right here. in the diary. Check out these fruit. Oh, yeah. Think we can eat those? Cool looking trees. Oops, cool little exercise stations. As you go along the path, you get prompted to do a Certain workout. There was a sign when we walked into the entrance saying to beware of the coyotes. So this is a preserve. So natural wildlife is gonna live here. And uh, so far I've seen a couple of lizards about this big maybe. I'm sure that there's bigger lizards here, like iguanas, and they get pretty big here. There's another exercise station. So as you're running along the path here, you get prompted to do these exercises. It's a cool opening and a beautiful tree right here. I think it's called the Royal Point Siena. I think that's the name of that tree. Some beautiful trees these beautiful trees in here. We're gonna go in there right now. Just walk through it. This is exactly the type of place where you would find some quicksand. We're at this cool little clearing right here. little creek, little fountain. Again, this person's here. Right there. Probably came to read a book and enjoy the weather on their lunch break. Right, guys well there you have it Deerfield Arboretum an awesome place to go if you want to go for a jog or a walk ride a bike get some serenity enjoy the park with your children take a look at God's beautiful creation uh, see the streams and the animals and the wildlife it's all here highly recommended while you visit to check out Deerfield Arboretum also we only saw half of the park 
Uh, the other half of the park is under construction, and I'm a little bit disappointed because the second half of the park that you did not get to see is, um, in my opinion, the, the better half. They have more streams and little waterfalls and bigger trees and, and, and rarer type of um, uh, plants. So uh, definitely come back here and check out Deerfield Arboretum. And uh, we're going into the springtime of 2021. So I'm pretty sure that that stuff will be done in the next couple of months or so. But this is a fun place to be, and it's the second stop on our journey. Get ready for our next stop, stop number three. Okay guys, next stop on the Deerfield Beach vlog tour, we are at the historic site, the Butler House, built in 1923. It's the oldest landmark in Deerfield Beach, and um, it's been sitting here for the last almost 100 years now. They're coming up on their centennial uh, anniversary. As you can see, the house was made out of stucco, a lot of the original infrastructure is still really original. I mean, look at the roof, the way the roof was created here. But a lot of the infrastructure is original. You can see that it's a stucco material on the outside, concrete block. It has a flat roof, which uh, you don't see nowadays. I mean, you still see them around from the old buildings. But you don't see them much nowadays. Check out this awesome tree. Now that's something straight out of Avatar, right? Look at that thing. It's amazing. The old hurricane shutters on the home. They just drop them down over the windows whenever a storm rolls in. As you can see, these two here have already been dropped down. This one's open for whatever reason next to it. But these are open right now because we're not in storm season. And uh, I'm interested to know if you have lived in South Florida near the Boca Deerfield area and if you have ever known about the Butler House. That's the first time I've actually been here and seen it. But I've driven past it every single day almost for the last 20 years. But yet here it is for you to see. 1923 was the build. It's the oldest standing home in Deerfield Beach, and uh, it's actually one of the first to have ever been built. And that's the Butler House right here in Deerfield. Let's go and check out what's next on our vlog. All right, guys, so here comes my favorite part of the whole entire Deerfield Beach vlog. We are at my favorite place on the entire vlog, and that is the actual beach. We checked out a bunch of cool parks today. We looked at the Arboretum. We looked at Quiet Waters Park with all of the action and things to do and all the relaxation. Well, down here, you also have relaxation and fun. So what you do is you take Hillsborough Boulevard east all the way to A1A, that's where the ocean is, and you can either go north or you can go south. You got a helicopter coming by. So right now, we are actually south of the pier. So the main fishing pier is where everybody hangs out. It's where all the commercial restaurants and bars and stuff are to chill. We're gonna go look at that in a little bit later on today, but we're at all the way on the south end of Deerfield Beach. It's very quiet down here. It's mostly uh, condominiums and residential area. As you can see, uh, the ocean front is here, okay? And it's pretty quiet on the south side of the pier. As we walk up the boardwalk, and head up to the fishing pier. We're gonna go out onto the pier and check it out and see what's going on. But north of the pier is really where all the action is. That's where you're gonna find all the, of the younger crowd. You're gonna find the restaurants, hotels, uh, bars, things like that, things to do, okay? So let's go ahead and just take a walk. It's approximately one mile from here down to the other side. So we're gonna get a little bit of exercise as we cruise along the boardwalk today. Let's check it out. All right, so I've been coming to Deerfield Beach now for almost 20 years. It's my favorite beach out of anywhere in South Florida. I like it better than Fort Lauderdale Beach. I like it more than Miami Beach, South Beach, West Palm Beach, Boca Beach, you name it. Deerfield is actually my favorite. Why? Well, it's close to home. It is fun, it is clean, and it is beautiful. I mean, look. I'm gonna get a little closer to that in a second here. So we're going to walk down into where all the action is. Again, it's about a mile walk, so we're going to power walk it. We'll have a little fun along the way. Check out how cool this is. They got a little tiki, little tiki bar right here, but it's private. 
so we can't go in. It looks like they have like a, if I can give you a sneak peek behind the bars, looks like a little uh, Margaritaville set up right here on the oceanfront, some barbecues, a bar, a tiki inside there. Pretty sure it belongs to the hotel. You can rent the space out to have birthday parties and weddings and engagement parties, bar mitzvahs, etc. It's pretty cool. These are all condos right here. I recently sold a condo in here, uh, two condos actually, one for 400,000 and the other one for about 340,000. Uh, one condo was completely decked out, immaculate, totally renovated. The other one needed a little bit of a TLC. Check out how beautiful this is. It's the old random walk, Deerfield Beach. No effects, no filters, just the real deal, guys. Absolutely beautiful. There's our lifeguards keeping us safe. I do recommend coming to the beach at nighttime and uh, with your sweetheart, open up a bottle of wine, go sit in a lifeguard tower, enjoy some conversation. It's a romantic cheap date. Cheap has nothing to do with it. I think it's a lot of fun. You can get a bit expensive bottle of wine, then it won't be a cheap date. Look at that blue water. So these are the public restrooms. All right guys, so here we go. We're coming around the uh, bend here. And as you can see in the background, we have the uh, Deerfield Beach Pier, which is way out there in the distance. You see it? Lots of folks along the, uh, the way here. They set up their chairs, they lay out, read books, write in their diaries, check their emails. Looks like we have one of those guys in a, uh, I don't know what you call that, but he's in a parachute with some type of machine strapped to his back flying around. I don't know what they call that. Condos on the one side. As we get closer to the pier, it's gonna become more commercial. Where again, we have restaurants, bars, nightclubs, younger crowd. And by younger crowd, what I mean is like high school kids and college kids. All right, something else that I noticed that's uh, different is uh, this beautiful grass here. It's not fake grass, it's not synthetic, it's the real deal. And I'm uh, pretty sure they recently installed it, but it looks great. But here we are, the world famous Deerfield Beach. <laughs> Probably my favorite place in South Florida. Watch out for that ball, don't trip on it. Check out the pier. We're gonna head over there in a little bit. Out there. See, head out to the pier. Let's walk along the grass. Today would be a great day for some drone shots. I overheard somebody talking about the, uh, the air show, which means there might be some airplanes up there. So if they're up there, I'm gonna have a hard time with the drone shots, but we'll find out. All right, so the portion behind me, mostly condos, residential area. As I come up here, approaching the pier, everything turns commercial. Restaurants, hotels, places to get cocktails. One of my favorite things to do cocktail at the beach. <laughs> it's a quiet day today. Weekend, usually it's a lot more busy here, much more uh, traffic. It's kind of quiet right now, which is a good thing. It's typically like this, five days a week, Monday through Friday. Friday in the afternoon, it definitely picks up. So these folks here, they're on the beach, are all probably guests of the hotel. Patio Bar and Grill, right there. All right, as you can see, we're coming up on the pier now. Right behind me, we're gonna head out there today. See what's going on. Another restaurant right here in the corner, Cafe Med. That restaurant's changed names a couple of times. Uh, I don't know if I've been there as of recent, but check out this view. Okay, so we're gonna hit that up real quick. All right, they have these really cool little tiki's here. 
just for you to kind of sit under, catch some shade, overlook the water. See? Tiki hut. Tiki time. It's almost tiki time pretty soon. Deerfield Beach Cafe. Want to grab a cold beer, some ice cream? That's where you do it. It overlooks the, uh, the ocean front, as you can see. And we're on the pier right now. So let's go out there, see what's going on. All right, guys, here we go. So we just paid for entry onto the pier. Two bucks, one dollar if you are from here. So we're gonna be walking out right now. It's a little bit windy out here. I'm pretty sure you can hear the good sound quality. Folks are sunbathing on the beach on both sides. Again, this is the side we just came from. That's the south side of the pier. That's where all the residences are. It's a little bit quiet over there. This over here is the north side of the pier. Things get a little bit more, a little bit more uh, fun over here. Look at that bird. That bird, he doesn't care about me. <laughs> he doesn't care about me. <laughs> well, anyways, usually over here on the north side of the pier, there's a lot more people, especially during the weekend. Uh, there's there's some few people here there now, but uh, there's restaurants. JB's on the beach. Oceans two three four. Both are great restaurants, great food, wonderful service. Live entertainment, which is key. You always want to get some live entertainment when you're at the beach, right? So we're gonna walk all the way out. We're gonna go way out there, all the way down. Let's see what we got, okay? Let's point the camera back at this side for now. Usually what people do is they'll come out onto the pier to go fishing and catch some huge fish off the pier. Or they just go for a walk like I am right now. People are enjoying the, the ocean. Look at that. Let's go all the way down. We go all the way. All the way down there. Way out. I'm pretty sure the pier is open till late at night. I've been here before late at night. I'm not sure exactly what time it closes, but I, I know I've been here after nine o'clock. Maybe it closes at midnight, something like that. Water is super clear, man. I can see to the bottom from way out here. You see how far back the beach is? I can see straight down to the bottom. They have these cool little uh, tables set up, so when you catch a fish, you can go ahead and take them apart, clean them, gut them. Look how far back the uh, beach is. See that? That's how far out we are right now. I'd say we're about halfway to the end of the pier. And I can look straight down to the water. I can see right down to the bottom. Crystal clear the water is. Beautiful. We're going all the way to the end. Sometimes we see these cool looking pelicans. They just perch on the side. Big, big pelicans. They're looking for fish. They're probably looking to snatch up your fish if you catch it. Caught a nice big fish. Tilt my camera down, I can show you. There we go, see that guy?
All right, cool. So that was the Deerfield Beach Pier. We got the full experience on that. We're gonna head over to where the restaurants are. Now again, guys, this, today this is uh, it's Thursday, so it's not nearly as busy as what it's like in the weekend. And quite honestly, I think a lot of people prefer it that way because it's more quiet. You can go in, you can get a table. Usually on the weekend, all of these tables are occupied and uh, the place is just jamming. I mean, we're heading over here right now to two restaurants, Ocean's 234 and JB's on the Beach. Both restaurants are absolutely phenomenal. Food is great. Oceanfront view. Can't beat the view anywhere. It's like this right here. And uh, service is excellent as well. Great place for people to go and dine. Take a quick look here. Straight down like that. With the ocean front as well. Overlooking the pier. Usually on the weekends they'll have live music. And when I'm walking around with the camera, people think I'm a celebrity. JB's on the beach is always jamming. Live music. Hey guys, people come here on vacation. Sometimes they live here. Usually it's a 50 50 split between snowbirds, local residents, people who live here. <laughs> so, live music on the weekends and in the evenings. They used to bust it down and build a stage and have a full band, have a whole dance party and everything. Overlooks the ocean and the pier. This is brand new right here. They just built this pavilion, Deerfield Beach Pavilion public restrooms, shower station. Take a look at it, come on. It's brand new. Brand new shower stations to wash off after you come down from the beach. The inside here, get a little bit of shade, relax. There's some bleachers over there. You guys ever been to a public restroom at the beach and see how dirty it is? Well, guess what? Not this one, it's brand spanking new. It's barely been used. And look how cool is this. The ocean's right there. You put your blanket right here. You come right up those stairs right there. Whew. Restrooms and showers. All right, so we are now officially at the north end of Deerfield Beach. This is exactly right here where that gate is. That's where the boardwalk ends. This is the end of the boardwalk. Some more showers. These are brand new too. And from here, my friends, we walk back to where we started. Uh, check this out. Some lifeguards right here, beach volleyball right there. Also, we have a sport here in Deerfield Beach called Fuchi Volley, which is a game that the Brazilians play. It's pretty much soccer, volleyball. You can't touch the ball with your hands, but you can use your head and your shoulders and your chest and your knees and your feet, and you kick it back and forth over the net. It's pretty cool. Looks like uh, it requires a lot of skill. But here it is, guys. It's a beautiful day at Deerfield Beach, very quiet. These bleachers were recently installed, probably so people can watch the volleyball tournament. All right guys, now I'm gonna show you some of the local places, local eateries, places to go to grab a drink, food, lunch, dinner, what have you. So you just saw the two restaurants over here on the ocean front. Ocean's 234, JB's on the beach. Both highly recommended. Only two restaurants with the exception of the patio bar that have ocean front view in Deerfield Beach. There may be one other restaurant, but I don't think they're open right now, and that was Cafe Med. Uh, but we'll see what that looks like in the very near future. So here's what we're gonna do. The Deerfield Pier is right behind me. I'm standing right in front of JB's on the beach. This is what the restaurant looks like from the outside. Boom, you can't miss it. So whenever you visit, you wanna hit this place. You cannot go wrong. See, as you can see, people in Florida are very friendly. As you noticed before, everybody was dining. They wanted to wave to the camera. That's not something you will see in New York, okay? Kahuna, this is Big Kahuna Bar and Grill. It's located on A1A right across the street from the beach. Really cool spot if you want to grab a beer, here's some live entertainment. People are strumming the guitar and singing, uh, you know, beach songs like Jimmy Buffett style type stuff. Now here's another really cool restaurant. It's called uh, Oceans 234. It's right here. This is also on the ocean. It has an ocean front view. It's excellent, highly recommended. Usually I frequent one of these two here on the ocean front. If you wanna grab some ice cream, we have an ice cream shop right here across the street. If you wanna grab a pizza slice right here, very good. And right across the street here is the world famous Flanagan's. We are directly across from the Deerfield Beach Pier right now. So the pier is that way, I'm sorry, the other way behind me. <laughs> and uh, Flanagan's is right here. Um, if you wanna get just like a good, burger or some type of fish sandwich 
and a nice cold beer. Flanagan's is where it's at. This is what we call the strip. This is pretty much the strip in Deerfield Beach. We're going right down A1A, right off of Hillsborough Boulevard. And I think what we'll do is we'll walk on the other side of the road here without getting hit by a car. Everybody's pretty friendly. All right, so now this place actually was recently renovated sometime within the last three to five years or so. Actually never really looked like this. It looks much better now. Definitely a fun place to hang out. Okay, as you can see here on a Thursday, the traffic is minimal. Usually the place will be totally packed with cars, lots of different motorcycles and bicycles rolling through. Not today. If you're wondering what that green stripe is here that I'm walk walking on, that's the actual bike path. So biking is super friendly in sunny South Florida. Guys, this is the Whale's Rib, famous restaurant that was on TV, Diners and Drives. He featured this restaurant on TV. Check that out, the Whale's Rib. Actually, I think they even have a billboard here on the side of the building that talks about that. As you can see, everybody here in Florida is super happy to be here. It's the ocean, it makes you feel happy. See that? There we go. So that's the famous restaurant, famous Whale's Rib. Check it out. It is a dive. It's absolutely a dive. Nothing fancy, but really great food. What's the channel? Life in South Florida. Perfect. Life in South Florida. I'll let you guys know. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. So we're already getting subscribers to the Life in South Florida channel, which reminds me, guys, if you haven't already, take the opportunity right now to click the subscribe button below, ring the bell so you can be updated whenever I do release new content. Check this out to the right of me. All this right here, these restaurants were shut down during COVID. There used to be a Burger Fi here and something else. Uh, it sucks because I love Burger Fi and it just sucks to see businesses in general go out of business. But uh, these restaurants along here, these boutiques, pizza places, um, a deli, and then we have these other little shops over here that sell beach stuff like sandals and what have you. So guys, if you haven't noticed, it's kind of interesting. As I walk by with the camera, people want to wave, they want to say hi. That is consistent with how it is in Florida. It's not like that anywhere else that I've been. Usually people are kind of mad or un, you know, un, unhappy. Uh, the sun has everything to do with it. The ocean has everything to do with it. Being on island time has everything to do with it. Right now behind me, I'm at the Billabong store. This is the Billabong store. So they sell all types of things in here that are surf related. I also think what, if, what they have in here too is you can sign up for like surfing lessons or paddleboard lessons and scuba diving lessons and things of that nature. Now, what I'm coming up here, guys, is the world famous Bruise Room. Bruise Room, right there, all right? The place has the best chicken wings that you can possibly ask for. I have still, to this day, yet to find one place that has better chicken wings. Um, if you know a place that has better chicken wings than Bruise Room in Florida, then put that in the comment section below because I would like to see them go head to head on who has the best wings possible. What else is Bruise Room known for? Well, they're known for their sports. They have uh, awesome uh, gatherings for UFC and football and ice hockey and every sport you can possibly think of. And the Brews Room is located right under the parking garage. So guaranteed that if you come to Deerfield Beach, it's most likely that you're gonna end up in that parking garage and you're gonna be going to the beach to get your son. And you might even stop over at the Brews Room for the purpose of grabbing yourself a refreshing beverage, right? This is what I was talking about. Hey guys, see, people are very friendly here in sunny South Florida. Not like New York, not like New York, where, uh, where people are angry because you have a camera in your hand and you're not wearing a mask. So uh, definitely not the case here. So it's super quiet here today, guys. Usually again on the weekend, all this will be just packed out with people. I'm actually glad I came down here today because it's not nearly as uh, busy. Ooh, I got a cigar lounge right here. I'd like to have a good cigar right now. It's a little bit hot. I think I want to get a beverage first grab a cigar later. Cigar Lounge, Oceanside, Acai Bowls, Oceanside. And let's see, lastly we have another restaurant here. I'm not even sure what this is. This looks like a brand new restaurant. I've never even seen this place before. And uh, oh, Barracuda. Oh, they must have moved. Okay, cool. All right, so that's a new restaurant. Maybe we'll go check that out right now. So this is the Kilwins. If you want to grab some ice cream at the beach, we have it here. Kilwins and a regular ice cream shop over there by the pier. And this is Barracuda Bar. Now I've heard about this place, but I've never actually been. I think it was tucked away over in the corner before, but now they're over here. Maybe you can be the first to see. Hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. How long have you guys been in this location? Uh, five months. Five months, okay, yes. thank you. So you are new. Okay, so I was right, they are new. I haven't been down here in a while and I didn't notice that they were here, but they've been here five months and uh, 
That's pretty cool. So I actually look forward to uh, hanging out here pretty soon. Hello. All right, cool. Well, good to know. So Barracuda is usually known as a uh, as like a Brazilian bar. They have Brazilian cuisine, Brazilian hangout. But um, but that's pretty cool. We're gonna have to hit that place up. Well, all right, there you have it, folks. The full-on Deerfield Beach vlog tour. We saw a lot of awesome, exciting things. I'm interested to know what you think about what we saw. Put a comment in the description box below telling me which one of those was your favorite. Also, if you have any other things that you would like to see in Deerfield Beach or the surrounding areas, let me know in the description box and I'll make a video in the very near future. Also, if you haven't already, take the opportunity right now to click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell so you can be first to be notified whenever I drop new content about what it's like to live in sunny South Florida. For now, have yourself a good rest of your day. Take care.